<laughs> Boy, that Ronnie Hawkins, what a kidder. In quotations, Godovich says stories that would embarrass Caligula. Anyway, welcome to part blah 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 of our Scarborough World Tour of Scarborough, starring uh, me, Mike Godovitz, my name and lights right there, and Mrs. Claypool, of course, doing the cinematography. She gets credit now, she demands it. Anyway, if you've read my book, my first book, Travels with My Aunt, I have a story here about my grade eight graduation. And this guy right here, his name is Brian Shutt. He just lives over there, that way there. He became a chiropractor, but at my grade eight graduation, uh, his band was called Guido Poppy and the Tenants. Uh, Guido goes by the name Guy now, Guy Poppy. Uh, on the drum it says Torquays. I guess they change your name every gig. Uh, anyway, I, I, I went onto the stage, I had my Beatle jacket on, I was only 12 years old, and uh, I sat behind the drums and I started banging and they opened up the curtains and it was in effect my very first performance as a terrible drummer. The reason we're standing here is that's 123 Bellamy Road, where Bellamy Road and Eglinton Avenue East. The Pillings, who I talk about quite a bit because, of course, we started out playing the Pretty Ones together. Then they went to England and joined Cat Stevens' band. And then they came back and then they put Flood together. And I saw Flood and I went, wow, these guys are great. I should be in the band. So they got rid of the bass player and I joined the band. That's kind of a creep, I was back in those days. This is a great story because uh, Led Zeppelin played their first show in August. 1968, I think, or 69. Someone's going to correct me. Uh, I was there at the Rock Pile because we were my band at the time. Uh, Sherman and Peabody was supposed to open up for them, but the guitar player David was at the exhibition and we couldn't find him. So was I upset? Yes, I was upset. Place was packed. I go out the back and Brian and Ed Pilling are there, and they said, "Can you get us in?" And I said, "I don't know. I'll try." They said, "Go up and tell John Bonham that we're here." So I go up the stairs and I knock on the door and the guy comes to the door and I said, can I speak to John Bonham, please? And I look inside and Jimmy Page is there, you know, you know groupies, a, a very small room, but you can, I'm looking in. And uh, anyway, this Bonham comes to the door and he goes, what do you want? And you know, he was a pretty imposing guy, right? And I, of course, I'm an avowed coward. So I was like terrified that he was going to do something. I said, Brian and Ed Pelly, and that's all I got. He grabs me and he goes, where are they? And I said, they're down there. And he drags me down the stairs, kicks open the door, and jumps into Ed's arms. I saw three songs standing right behind John Bonham. I didn't think they were very good. Was I wrong? Yes. Led Zeppelin were always really good. I was mad because we didn't get to play. So I left. I went down to Yorkville. I uh, walked out of the Led Zeppelin concert, even though I was standing right on stage with them. Stupid me. And uh, that night, this is the reason why we're here, John Bonham and Robert Plant came to this very building in Scarborough and slept on Ed Pilling's floor. The next year when they came back to play the O'Keefe Center, John Bonham and Robert Plant came back to this location and slept on Ed Pilling's floor. For some reason, these rich rock stars really like to rough it. Now, also up this street here, this is Cedarbury Boulevard. I can't really give you the number because the place doesn't exist anymore. They tore it down. But the infamous Rhodey Hilton was there. And um, that's where I lived with, uh, it was all roadies that lived there. And then I moved in. And of course, everything changed because, you know, being a pushy little boss guy that I am, everything changed. So we lived there. Uh, so that's another part of my little musical story. And then of course, the Knob Hill was just down there. So, you know, it was close enough for us to play the gig and come back and, you know, and party and all that stuff. And then when I returned from Calgary after eight years, and Mrs. Claypool found us a house, it was just over there on Fair, Fairway, right? Fairway? Fairview? Fairway? Fairway. Fairway Drive. Beautiful place. We just drove by over there to say hello to Paula and Dino, but they weren't in. Anyway, so this is the end of this little tour, but this is an important one because, you know, this is a, a lot of my musical history was right in that building over there when the Pillings were here. Wash your hands, stay six feet back. I'm only five feet back from Mrs. Claypool, but I'm backing up now. Six feet back from everybody. Do something nice. Support a business. 
Uh, the Victoria Monkey on Kingston Road is just done. Uh, they've got takeout Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 4 till 8 p.m. Nakamori is right over there. Oh, uh, Navio is on Kingston Road. Uh oh, here come the police. What have I done now? Wash your hands. Oh, yes, they're coming for me. Bye now.